But there's one thing before we move on to the New Testament that I want to bring up, though. It's that when we look at the sin of the Canaanites, when we go through this list of things, there's a possibility that our reaction is one of self-righteousness, where we look at what they're doing and say, well, that, that doesn't affect me. That's not my life. I'm better than they are. When in reality, what it should be doing is reminding us that every single one of us is sexually broken in our own ways. That all, all five of those things on the list I had showed are in the Game of Thrones TV show. And that if the Israelites lived in modern day, there would have been a sixth item on the list that included pornography. And so everybody is sexually broken. And moreover, as we turn now to the New Testament, this is not about lobbing stone, well, quite literally lobbing stones at those who have sinned in Leviticus 18. Rather, the purpose for us is understanding that we are all deserving of death. We are all deserving of God's judgment. That even though we are his people now, that does not mean that when we transgress against him and our culture transgresses against him, that that is okay. So our reaction should not be one of self-righteousness, but rather an appeal to God, a humility, saying, Lord, I know that I deserve death, and I thank you that you have given me mercy instead.